as the young rebels we were, we were heading to Slap City on this day. Uh, our first visit, actually, many, many years ago. Not knowing what to expect, we were always curious. We were always ready for an adventure. Uh, that's the way we lived. Um, Till this day, you know, we still love adventures and finding new places and new things to explore, you know. Um, and Slap City was no exception. Uh, definitely one of the most interesting places I've ever visited, for sure. Um, and where is Slap City? Well, Slap City is actually going towards Nyland, California. Um, and it's basically an abandoned marine site, and people live there, believe it or not. Um, they're called slavers. Um, they live there with no rules, you know, there's no government, um, there's no parking fees, believe it or not. So people actually park their, you know, their mobile homes there. Um, basically, there's freedom there, you know, so I guess you get the picture. Um, some people stay here for the winter only. Um, some people live here permanently, you know. Um, people here are living off generators for electricity, for instance. And they take baths at the hot springs close by. And they even have their own church, um, as you can see in the video uh, right here. And uh, how do I know all this? Uh, we met a lot of these labbers, uh many times on our multiple visits. Uh, even though this footage is only showing our first visit. Um, but um, we went here a couple of times. We even played in their famous, the range, you know, the stage uh, run, run by wild, one of their, um, their slavers, uh, Builder Bob. Uh, we played there with my band, The Fantastic Illness. Um, and it was pretty awesome. It's actually one of my favorite gigs, and the night was pretty chaotic that day. Uh, anyways, you probably remember the stage, you know, the, um, from games like uh, Grand Theft Auto and Salvation Mountain. So um, you probably recognize it, you know, uh, or the movie uh, Into the Wild. Um, but anyways. Um, before entering Slap City, you'll see Salvation Mountain. Honestly, you cannot miss it. Um, and this is where my story is going to start, how I met Leonard Knight, creator of Salvation Mountain. And few people knew who Leonard Knight was back in the day, but thanks to the internet in most recent years, more and more people are actually discovering who Leonard Knight is or was. Um, and he, they all find out he was responsible for Salvation Mountain, you know? And this mountain he created by using nothing but paint. Uh, he wanted to spread a special message. Uh, of course, it was about God and love, you know? And I am by no means religious, you know, um, but... I still find his story, his dedication and passion truly fascinating, you know. Um, I mean, this mountain has been growing for more than 25 years now, uh, if I did the math right. <laughs> uh, terrible math, but um, I'll I'm really happy to tell you the story how I met him uh, many, many years ago, and I'm honored to have done so. Um, so upon arrival, we parked and we saw this beautiful mountain with beautiful messages and passages from the Bible. Um, a truck was right there parked, you know, just there. And uh, an old man was sitting down and then he started staring at us and smiling at us, you know. Uh, we were approaching the truck. Uh, me, my brother, and my son was there and my ex. Um, and Leonard Knight was there sitting in his truck, 
which was actually his home for more than 25 years as well. That's where he slept, you know, and that's where he um, spent his time besides working on the mountain. Um, he asked us where we were from, said hi to my son and to me, of course, to my ex-wife, my brother. Um, he was really kind. He was a really kind person. He told us his tale, how he got there, you know, how he got to uh, Nylon and how he made his, started his creation, the mountain. Um, he told us his love for God, uh, proceeded to tell us about the new renovations he had done to the mountain and the new rooms he had in there. He was definitely proud of his masterpiece. I mean, and why wouldn't he be? I mean, his dream had been accomplished. People from all over the world were finally taking notice of his mountain, you know. Um, cool thing also that I remember, he told us about the movie Into the Wild, and he told us about Alexander Supertramp. Um, but he was referring to him as the nice young man from the movie. Yeah, yeah, I met him, you know. He was pretty proud about that. Um, then I asked him if we could take a picture of him. And we took video of our meeting that day, which is all right. Uh, the quality wasn't the greatest because it was an old camera. Uh, old phones, you know, it really wasn't a smartphone. But yeah. here's uh, the video really and the picture. Popular. Yeah. <laughs> They're cute little yeah. things on a refrigerator door. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Okay? <laughs> He's shy. He's shy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And as you can see, he was really happy. Um, there was so much, so much possi possibility, positive energy, sorry. Um, it was incredible, this energy. And none of us were religion at the, religious, sorry, at the time. And honestly, in fact, uh, I didn't even believe in God. Um, but there was something we all had in common that day. And that was our same belief was love, you know. Um, I remember staring at the mountain and I couldn't believe what this man had created, you know, this mountain that gave everybody hope. Um, and even for atheists like myself, you know, uh, same message. It was love, you know, love. Um, it was pretty powerful. Um but anyhow, uh, it was one amazing moment for me. Um, sadly, though, in 2014, Leonard, Ni Leonard Knight uh, passed away of dementia uh, in El Cajon, actually. Um, but his message and his mountain, honestly, has continued to live on. And now millions of visitors come to see his creation, believe it or not. Um, and I guess that's what he wanted, you know, and I'm, I'm really... I'm really happy for that. Um, I'm glad I got to meet the man behind this Salvation Mountain. Um, and um, he's that one person. I remember that day that reminded me that hope is a good thing. And it may be the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. Always remember that. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time or until I find a job, just remember, all you need is love. Have a good one, my friends. And thank you so much for watching once again. And I want to dedicate this one to Leonard Knight. So in loving memory of Leonard Knight. Thank you. Have a good one.